What's going on everyone? My name is Wow Shane and welcome to your favorite game. The show where we talk about your favorite game. Today's game is a link to the past, originally released on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Today's guest is Atomic Bomb 1980. Atomic Bomb, why don't you tell the wonderful people about your favorite game? My favorite game is The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past that came out on the Super Nintendo. It is a game I played a lot when I was a kid, and I'm actually currently wearing the My Link to the Past shirt for this uh, interview. We are eight episodes in, and I am super happy that we finally have a Legend of Zelda video game on the show, because people watching the video form of this podcast will see all the Zelda stuff in my background. Which is fantastic. I do come into your streams and I do contest and I will confirm. I see that. <laughs> How do you play Link to the Past? Are you a casual player, speedrunner? Do you do randomizers? I play the game as is. I play it from start to finish. Um, the only thing I'll do is I'll put challenges into the game to challenge myself to beat it like with so many hearts or I'll challenge myself to finish dungeons in various different order. I know sometimes I have to go into a dungeon to grab an item so I can progress to another dungeon, but I'll go in and get the item and then leave and then I'll leave all the uh, the bosses like left unfinished and then I'll just randomly like roll a dice and whatever it says beat dungeon 6 then I'm going to go beat that boss and then if it says beat dungeon 7 then I'll go do that. Then if it says 3 then I'll go do that. Like I just just Random challenges, but I don't do randomizers or anything for any game. I love to play the game as is because of the art, the development and the art style put into the game. They put the game together for a specific reason, and for me personally, I prefer to just play it as it was done. I'm like the exact opposite of you. I do not enjoy playing Link to the Past vanilla, but I will always play it randomized. That is my preferred way to play it. That's yeah, fair enough. I, I feel the game's challenging enough, uh, even just on its own without a randomizer. The game doesn't necessarily hold your hand. Like, it's... I see a lot of new people play that game and they're just... They, I see them struggle. I see them die a lot. Even my first time playing it in a very, very long time, with, with my first stream, because it was the very first game I ever streamed, I died over, like, 50 times. <laughs> what makes A Link to the Past your favorite game? What keeps bringing you back to it? Uh, the design, the levels. It brings back to nostalgia because it was a big part of my childhood. It's the game that really got me into video games more so than what I already was. Like, I did love video games prior to that, but it's the game that really made me want to play games even more. And uh, the dungeons, I, th I think that also what's great about Zelda A Link to the Past is it also influences a lot of games that have come out since then. And it, for me, it's just I just don't get sick of it. I can literally play through and finish the game, hit reset and then do it again. But again, that's where I'll add in my challenges and be like, all right, well, I finished the game normally this time. OK, my second fa uh, save file, let's go ahead and say, well, I'm only going to finish the game with five hearts or whatever hearts I can get and just and just like do something like that. But I just it's a game I can never get sick of. It it just holds my heart is what it does. What is something you would add to a link to the past? What I would add to the link to the past. Maybe a quick like a quick menu. Like a, a quicker way to rather than like pause, like being able to switch through your items. Um, I might like had thought about this a little bit more since you and I had talked about this game. If I would to change or do anything different with the game, I think maybe a quick menu, kind of like what we got in like uh, Breath of the like in, in Tears of the Kingdom actually, to where you can scroll through the items quicker rather than constantly like hitting pause, select this item, okay, unlock this door, switch back to this item, do this, switch to this item, do this. I think it would be cool to just, if I were to change it, it add like a quick menu to where you can swap through the items quicker. But other than that, I would change nothing about the game. Maybe add DLC, you know, many years later, add some DLC. I see some retro games get remade and brought forward with some DLC added in. Come on, Nintendo. <laughs> I mean, what is a link between worlds except just more of your favorite game, really? True. 
It is. It is. And it, I, actually, uh, A Link to the Past has a couple sequels. Oracle of Ages and Seasons are both part of that same timeline, and I believe in Link's Awakening is as well. If you had to remove something from A Link to the Past, what would you remove? I would remove nothing. There's absolutely nothing about that game I would want to change. In I like I've played that game so many times ever since I was a little kid, and I just there's nothing that I would change. This next question is a two-parter. You can only answer one if you wish, or you can answer both parts if you wish. What is your second favorite game, and or what game is most comparable to A Link to the Past? My second favorite game is kind of a tie. It's uh, some of my favorite games. My second favorite game in the Zelda universe would be Twilight Princess. I absolutely love that game. It's a lot like A Link to the Past with the light dark world. Uh, it's my favorite 3D Zelda. Uh, but as far as like my second game in general outside of the Zelda universe, I would choose The Witcher 3 and Assassin's Creed Odyssey, two of my biggest favorite games. And now going to the game that's most comparable to Zelda A Link to the Past, I would say a, a random obscure game. I know only know a handful of people that have ever heard of the game. It's a game called Alundra. It is a top-down game just like Zelda. They added jumping, which is kind of cool. You see some jumping in like, like Link's Awakening and things like that. So you know it was done in that type of like 2D uh, game style. But it is, it's, it's, it's a very hard game too, but it's probably the closest and in my opinion, the best Zelda clone probably ever made. And I really would like to see that game somehow get remastered or put back onto the stores for people to get the opportunity to play it. Taking into consideration a lot of what you said, there is unfortunately a lot of stuff I disagree with you. I don't personally find A Link to the Past to be a perfect game. Um, if I had to categorize it um, in a list of any kind of sort, it would probably be lower down on my favorite Zelda games. I'm not saying it's a bad game, I'm just saying there's a lot of better Zelda games. If we're talking 2D, I prefer... Um, a Link Between Worlds as my favorite 2D Zelda game. And also you mentioned Twilight Princess as my least favorite 3D Zelda game. I brought you on here just so I can tell you you're wrong about everything. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> opinions are opinions. I do I do enjoy A Link to the Past but I don't know if I could ever play it vanilla again, honestly. The game is too small for me. The game just there, there's not enough going on for me i do love the randomizers for it like i will always be down for a triforce hunt in that game i never played the snes version growing up i have since gone back to play the snes version growing up but i always had the game boy advance port of this game the one that came with the four swords one and i made it all the way to turtle rock growing up but i never got past it but I have since gotten past it when, you know, the Switch Online version, the SNES Classic version, and the version that Nintendo would not prefer me talk about. Um, so, it's a good game. Don't get me wrong, but there are a lot of Zelda games I would prefer to play before A Link to the Past, and there are a lot of different ways that I would prefer to play A Link to the Past that is not... A link to the past, straight up vanilla. That's fair enough. Um, one of the things I also loved and I actually didn't mention is another reason why I absolutely love A Link to the Past is I also love that it actually started to flesh out a lot of the lore and a lot of the story within the Zelda universe, where the first two games didn't do that so much, to where a lot of like the story behind the gods and the Triforce started to get fleshed out a bit more in A Link to the Past which then kicked off the rest of the series. And some of the, a lot of the lore that kind of gets reinterpreted and changed and brought into the rest of the games that we all now play since then. But Zelda A Link to the Past was the third Zelda game ever made. It was the first Zelda, then the second Zelda, and then A Link to the Past. So for them to progress and make a game like A Link to the Past after 
the first good game that was solid on the NES, and then making the Zelda 2 that nobody liked. Uh, even when I was a kid, when I was younger, nobody liked Zelda 2. And then we got A Link to the Past, which then kind of sort of, I guess, saved the franchise and just knocked it out of the park at that point. Because you, you think of the time frame that A Link to the Past came out. And yeah, I, I, I understand that you, like, you say that it's not you'd like the best Zelda game, but at the time that it came out, it was probably one of the best games that have ever come out at that time frame. Oh yeah, A Link to the Past is one of the most influential games of all time. I'm not going to deny that. And it set the standard for 2D action-adventure, 2D RPGs, besides like you know Final Fantasy and whatever else was out at the time. It set the standard. It laid the pavement for other games to follow through. Uh, yeah, and even so, like, even, like, I just played through Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 on my stream, and, like, even thinking of that, like, they're very different as far as, like, Diablo is very, like, dungeon crawly, and very, I mean, it's like, it's dungeon crawling, but it's also more of an RPG, but you think of just stripping it down to, like, the, the concept of the game itself, is which you just go through dungeons and fight bosses at the end, that's exactly what Zelda did, even in the very first Zelda game. The very first Zelda game is noted from when I looked it up, I, this, could, this could be wrong, the info could be wrong, but listed as Zelda is the very first game to ever even have fast travel. The first Zelda game with the flute took you to random places, and I believe that was the first game to ever have any form of fast travel. It's also the first game I'm pretty sure to have a in-game save system not to use passwords. I believe so. I, I'm almost, yeah, I, I believe that too. Pretty sure. All right. Anything else we need to talk about that hadn't been touched on yet before we wrap things up? I, I don't think so. All right. Atomic Bomb, tell the wonderful people where we can find you. You can find me on Twitch at Atomic Bomb 1980. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, which is now considered X. I saw the update on my phone. Uh, again, Atomic 1980. Uh, Instagram, Atomic. Bomb 1980 uh, in TikTok Atomic Bomb 1980 and I have a name on Kick but I don't know think I'll stream there but it's the same thing I got my name Atomic Bomb 1980 on all platforms all right make sure everyone go drop Atomic Bomb 1980 a follow on all platforms every single one of them thank you all so much for being here I appreciate you make sure you like comment and subscribe and if you're listening on Spotify rate us five stars Thank you so much for being here. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out.